Hello, it's day 18. It's Yog 2020. We're yogging until the 20th of December. So not long to go. So let's just go. I hope you're enjoying this countryside. We're going into the woods today. Let's go. We're jogging for about one minute. So jog, jog, jog on the spot. Okay, let's stop jogging now and start lunging to the side, 10. Okay, change direction, 10 on the other side. Well done, now let's get jogging again for another minute or so. Okay, just come to a stop now and we're going to do another round of the lunges, so 10 on each side. You can see I got a bit hot, the hat's come off, jumper's come off. Keep lunging nice deep steps. Don't put any pressure on your knee, check that it's just over the top of your ankle. Going to the other side now. But you just do it in your own time. Okay, stop and let's get jogging. Around another minute of jogging on the spot. Get the knees nice and high. We're nice and warmed up now, so you can go for it a little bit more. Okay, just come to a stop and take some lovely deep breaths as you inhale the arms up exhale the arms down and through your center do this for as long as you want you can press pause and then just take the breath all the way down into a malasana squat 
just moving through the hips a little bit, a little bit of movement, it's always good. Chest high, bottom low. Think of the line from the tailbone to the ground, and then just straighten out the legs. Roll your shoulders and your head. So just take some, a moment just to go round and round with your shoulders and also chin to chest and work through the neck. Round three now of the lunges. Side lunges, 10 to the left, 10 to the right. Okay, down into Malasana, forward fold. And we're gonna keep doing that. So you go Malasana, forward fold. Malasana, forward fold. So you can just keep your hands in prayer, straighten out the legs, and then return to squat. So it's really, really great for the hamstrings, this one. Keep going. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's get jogging again. About another minute of jogging on the spot. Get nice and warm. Really let everything wobble, everything jiggle. And you get out of this what you put in. So go for it. come to a stop I'm going to do pyramid folds now so feet about a meter apart both pointing the same way and go down to halfway and the arms are just behind your back and they can come up whatever feels right so a little up slide backwards to open the chest sliding the uh, hands to the heels and then forwards just to halfway don't go too far don't try and touch the nose to the knee yet we'll do that in the end but uh, just keep going ten on each side Okay, just hold that position there. Arms can come round the back of the leg. Gently pull yourself in closer and closer to the knee. Knee to nose. Okay, pull up. And we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side. Line up the feet, both pointing the same way, about a meter apart. Arms behind the back and down to halfway without bending your legs.
claws there go all the way knee to nose and you can get your hands behind your leg and gently pull yourself in closer and closer okay let's sprint a little quick blast of sprinting Doing nice little alternate arm rotation squats now. Just keep going one hand, then the other hand. Just pause there and stretch it out with a wide-legged rotation. Just one arm. Take your hand right round to the thigh if you can. Really twist out chest to the sky, the other side. Okay, just doing a little forward fold there, white legged, little pause, and then now we're going into a plank. So just hold this plank for as long as you feel comfortable. roll up now I'm gonna do hand to foot rotation so one hand touches the opposite foot then the other one and just take your time nothing rushed everything under control and you will not hurt yourself so just take your time to stretch out the chest and upper back it feels so good Okay, pause there, holding on to each opposite ankle, stretch out your shoulders. Well done. The next one is a bit tricky. Hold on to each big toe or each toe end and lift, holding the leg. Keep a bend in the knee if you want and a bend in the standing leg. Pulling that hip wide open and balancing at the same time. Have a little go. Okay, let's jog now. Another minute on the spot.
time for chair pose now. So sink nice and deeply into this chair pose. Everything in line in parallel feet, legs and hips, chest high. And then just bring your hands together and take it to the right in a rotation. You really use the elbow on the knee as resistance. Now the other side. Well done. Dancer, one of my favorites, really nice for the upper back and um, the whole body really. So you take your arm out wide and thigh and kick into the hand. So do 10 of those. So we're just gonna stretch and bring the knee back in, stretch and bring the knee back in. And if you have a wobble, do not worry. It's fantastic to do this one in trainers if you're out and about because it gives you a little bit more help with balance. a little bonus one now just take your foot into your elbow and balance there and if you can take hold of the hands and take the arm behind your head and really bend your back it's a wonderful stretch if you can do it and have a go other side now dancer pose in and out stretch and back in ten on each side Well done. Let's now just take some time to breathe, inhaling the arms up, exhaling them down. Now take your hands on top of your head and reach up, palms facing up to the sky as you rise up. Come onto the balls of the feet, tiptoes. Just a few little rotations. Hand, hand comes in, the other hand goes back. Just nice with the chest and the shoulders. One breath for each movement. Push the palms up and out to face the sky. Reach up and then try and pull the fingers apart to get that stretch across the shoulders. Pull the palms back, just stretch out your forearms finally, and then a little back bend. Thank you for watching. Namaste, everybody. Have a great day.